Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com and today I'm doing a review of Hockey Shots 4.5 by 10 foot roll up shooting pad. This is a new one they have that's even bigger than the old one that I did a review of. So I'm just going to show you what you get, made a few improvements and let's get right to it. So this is the box that it comes in, a uh, nice big cardboard box. It's all rolled up so you're going to have to unroll it and let it sit flat. In this review, I'm going to uh, show you the product, give you a nice close up look. I'm going to do um, a comparison with a smaller roll up shooting pad then show you how it works with these pucks that I have over here. So a few different pucks, show you how it slides. Um, then give you a few ideas of what you can do with like some training and stuff that you can do on it. Uh, first I'm going to give you a nice close up look at it. You can see the thickness there, it's one tenth of an inch. It's the same thickness as the old uh, roll up shooting pad that I was using. And it's very, very durable even though it's thin. I mean it's thin enough for you to roll it up. But it's a really durable material so it's great to use. Now I'm going to give you an idea of the length of it. It's 10 feet long, so fairly long. I'm just going to walk down it here. So you can see you could easily have like a couple people playing on it, uh, which is kind of an interesting thing. I have the x passer, which is the pass rebounder on the end. Uh, so I'll show you what it looks like in my room there. So pretty decent size. I'm going to go grab the uh, other roll-up shooting pad I have over here and toss it down there. Here's the extreme passing kit on top of the 4.5 by 10 foot roll-up shooting pads. You can see you have the extra half foot right there. A little bit of extra width, which is always nice. And then walking down it, have the extra two feet on the end, which is really cool. Um, I really like the Extreme Pass Kit. It has this puck rebounder on the end, the bungee cord. I like it for doing really wide movement, stick handling, good width uh, for stick handling back and forth and forwards and backwards. And you can walk around on a little bit. I normally just walk around the outside. Uh, with this one, with the extra length, you can actually like run probably like back and forth with it. Or you can use it as like a two-person thing, so you know you could have someone else on the other side, make a little goal, use it for like a small area stick handling games and stuff like that. So I like uh, having a little bit of extra size would be good if you have a few people in a family that both play hockey. If you have your friends over all the time and both want to use a shooting pad, like you could stick handle here. You could have someone else in the middle, another person on the other end. So you could probably have three people stick handling on it at once, use like uh, little games and stuff like that. I'm just going to use it really quickly, show you how it works. I'm just going to push the puck around here to show you how it slides on the roll-up shooting pad. So you can see the uh, puck slides very nicely. It almost seemed like the puck slid better after a while of me using it. I don't know if I had to do static or something like that, but it still slides uh, fairly well here. You can see a nice little soft pass in the shooting pad and it slides great. Uh, with the green biscuit, I find it always slides nicely, a little bit better than pucks. So I tend to use the green biscuit for stick handling and I like to switch it up, use the green biscuit a bit, use the pucks a bit. Uh, they both slide great on the roll-up shooting pads though, but I definitely recommend the green biscuit. You can see how great it slides there. Uh, so this is me doing some stick handling, just to show you uh, a few things that you can do with the roll-up shooting pad. I like to use the slide board back there. I mean, if you want to grab that, it's sweet. Uh, kind of gives you the motion like you're actually skating and uh, adds a bit more difficulty to your training. So this is a figure eight drill, or sorry, this isn't the figure eight. This is just a couple of pucks that I put up. Uh, basically, just practice stick handling in front of them, uh, behind them, and in between them. So you practice stick handling with the puck in close, further away from your body, and sort of putting it underneath someone's stick. Uh, you do toe drags and all that kind of fun stuff. This is a figure eight drill, but the pucks are very close together. That's going to force you to use the back of your blade and the toe of your blade to bring the puck in close to your body quickly, and that's a good skill to practice. This is the figure eight normal drill. Uh, the pucks are wider, so you can just practice sort of sweeping the puck around, and you can switch directions. Uh, you can practice like just sort of doing the soft hands, like dribbling the puck around them. Uh, figure eight as well, but with the pucks in the other opposite direction. And, you know, do this forehand, backhand, like switch directions, and this is going to get you comfortable with the puck in front of you uh, in all kinds of distances from your body. Uh, this next one is the yo-yo drill. Basically, just push the puck forwards and then pull it in and then push it out the other way and pull it in. And uh, those are a few drills for you to practice. There you go. That should give you a good idea of what you can do with a 4.5 by 10 foot roll-up shooting pad. If you want to buy it, you can click on the link in the video description. Or if you're on the website, howtohockey.com, uh, just click on the link below the video. We'll put it right down there for you. Uh, to be honest, I use a roll-up shooting pad all the time. I have one outside for shooting and stick handling. and I, have, I used to have one inside. I put the uh, training towels down. But you need a really nice smooth surface if you want to practice your skills. Uh, that's the only way you're really going to improve. If you're on pavement, it doesn't give you that same ice-like uh, feel. So definitely recommend a roll-up shooting pad or a nice smooth surface like the tiles and the green biscuit if you want to improve your skills. Because those two together make a really nice, slick, smooth feel to the puck. And you're going to need that if you want to get that game-like situation. So uh, that's my recommendation. If you guys want to see more videos, more reviews, and a whole bunch of hockey tips, check out howtohockey.com.